What up y'all, now we're doing, um, next thing on the list is the e-brake kind of uh, was bottoming out and it was still rolling backwards. So we're gonna go over how to adjust the e-brake cable. Also, um, got a new skid plate for the gas tank and gonna be painting that and hopefully have a video on that pretty soon too. But uh, let's get going on this e-brake. All right, so we're underneath the Jeep here on the driver's side. Uh, the transfer case is right here and right here. You can see it right there it goes the e-brake cable up underneath the dash here's all the adjustment equipment and then it goes over the right there splits off and goes to one side or the other so it kind of looks like the previous owner uh, replaced the cables at one point um, probably see how the rod is almost fully maxed out on its adjustment so what we're going to do is before we start messing with this is we're going to actually check the rear drums and see if we got any adjustment to be had back here um, which is you pop that little plastic cover you pop those out and there should be an adjusting wheel if there's not then we'll might have to take the drums off i'm hoping not and otherwise we will come back over to this part and see if we can snug them up a little bit. So we'll soak it down with some uh, rust penetrant, WD-40, whatever you want to use and um, get it checked out. Okay, so here's all the basic accoutrements that you're gonna need tool-wise to do this. Now, there's some duplication here. The uh, box wrenches and the ratcheting wrenches for the lock nuts on the uh, cable adjuster itself in case I gotta go there the adjuster wheel inside the drum brake is basically a star wheel it's got a wheel um, with teeth on it and you can use anything that you want that's a flat blade you can use a big giant flat blade to give you a little bit extra leverage shorter one a little mini pry bar or this guy is actually a tool that's designed for specifically for adjusting those brake wheels um, again this one's from snap-on there's a part number there if anybody's interested it's a great tool it's super heavy duty but you can do it with a basic flathead screwdriver. Um, just make sure it's a big sturdy one, uh, otherwise it'll break. And then also the only other thing you need is some rust penetrant and possibly some heat. The only reason I'm gonna use the heat is for the um, locking nuts on the cable, but uh, you wanna be careful because there's the fuel filter and the fuel lines are running right there too. So let's get under there and see what's going on. All right, so we got her jacked up here. Um, got a little high. It's on 33s, so but it just makes it that much easier if you can get a little bit higher to do this job. Safety first. I got a chalk, a chalk block under the front and back of the rear front tire, and we got the plugs out in the drum, so we can see the mechanism inside. One thing you want to do when you get this up like this in the air is just try to spin the wheel. Um, if you got a locker and it's gonna be a little difficult, but um, if you listen, you kind of hear a little bit of scrape in there. That's that's pretty good. Um, it's spinning okay. You got a little bit of drag on it, um, and that's kind of how you want drums to be adjusted. So do the same on the other side. You can kind of hear it. So. Um, we're gonna try and tighten them up a little bit just to see uh, hopefully they got adjusters in them I know my Cherokee does but uh, I've never done this on a YJ before so we'll get under there and take a look all right so we're underneath here this is the little plug that goes in that hole there um, it's got a little bit of a lip on it so you're gonna have to pry it out with a screwdriver and see if you can see in there bear there you go that little silver piece back there that's the adjuster um, trying to get a shot of it there but it's like that on both sides hopefully they're installed right because they do they are left and right specific um, but you can see the star wheel it looks pretty new hopefully they did a brake job on this and we just need to readjust them oh there you go you can see it right there um, the little 
gnarled piece of silver in there that's the teeth on the rings so basically I'm gonna use just the regular old screwdriver and yeah it's turning a lot you basically just stick her in there and then turn you hear it turn in there And you hear I'm dragging a little more. So hopefully we're going the right way. They might have just not put the ratcheting system in. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Um, if you're lazy, people won't put them in. And then leave it for the next guy to worry about. So we'll see how this goes. And I'll report back. Thanks. Okay, so I was going the right direction. I was sticking it in and prying down. Which would turn the wheel inwards towards the center of the vehicle. So they tightened up. And if you see, just find a marker here. There's the wheel weight. Kind of at the bottom, and we'll just give her a spin. One rotation, about a rotation and a half. That's pretty good. The nice thing about drum brakes is that they self clearance, and you, know, you don't want them to be super tight because then you're just wasting brakes. Uh, but do it in both directions, and pretty much a rotation and a half again. I'd say that's pretty good. We'll uh, try and set the other one. You want to keep count of the adjustments you make like how many times you lever on it uh, just because you want to make sure that they're even um, assuming that they were even to begin with you want to try and maintain that so we're gonna do the other side real quick and then check the brake pedal and or the e-brake pedal and see how it goes thanks all right so the passenger side was pretty much bottomed out like it wasn't even adjusted so that one I had to turn uh, this this direction so I turned it away from the vehicle and it seemed to tighten it up so we'll see how it goes let's go check the brake pedal and uh, see if it feels any better Bye. okay brake pedal e-brake pedal pedal especially since it's a manual kind of important I don't understand people that think that you don't have to have an e-brake with a manual transmission it doesn't make sense to me um, so let's check it here one two three four five six so every manufacturer has a different specification about how many clicks it should take to properly set the e-brake. Um, check your manual. Everybody's different. I know like with my Dodge Dakota I had it specifically said it was eight clicks. Um, but this seems uh, like there's a little more throw. I think I can tighten it up a little bit more um, and get a couple less clicks out of it because that wasn't even fully tight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And that's probably all that there is. Look up underneath there. Yeah, that's pretty much as far as it'll go. But you don't want that. Um, granted, that's a real secure e brake if it is, but you should be like middle of the swing. One, two, three, four, five, six when it starts to engage. So let's tighten it up just a little bit more on both sides and check it again. Okay, so made a couple more adjustments at the wheels. Um, still wasn't getting tight enough. And then I switched underneath and made a couple turns on the adjustment rod underneath. And now we're nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm having to put some serious pressure from four to six. So. I think we're pretty good the tires you know for having two tires on and the drag of both of the brakes i think we're doing pretty good here um we'll go take it for a drive like i said the drum brakes will self clearance just as long as you're not uh burning up your brakes and blowing through them you should be fine um that's why you just don't want to over tighten them but looks pretty good we'll see how it goes and that's pretty much how you adjust drum brakes um, for your parking brake and just in general. Um, like with my 97, the adjusting system, I've redone the rear brakes on that too. Um, and the adjusting system just doesn't seem to work. So every once in a while, when I'm doing a tire rotation, I gotta pull the wheel off, pull the drum off, and actually tighten it. Part of the problem is, is that it doesn't have an access port underneath like the Jeep does. To be able to go in and adjust it you actually have to pull the drums on and off that's the nice thing about the jeeps is that you can get the 
drums on really easily, adjust them where you need to be, and then they're set. With this Chevy uh, 97 K1500, you have to take the drums off to adjust them. There's no adjusting port on the back. So you can't get them too tight, but the pedal was going all the way to the floor, and I replaced the brake master cylinder, bled the ABS pump with a scan tool, um, and it just wasn't working right. So I went in, redid the rear brakes, redid the adjusters and everything, and it's great. Now it's kind of slowly losing it. And that's why you have to back up every once in a while and actually use your brakes to stop you because that's how those adjuster brakes work. Um, they use the reverse motion and you applying the brake and the torque that it applies to the wheel and the drum to actually ratchet those ratcheting adjusters. So um, we can, I'll do a more in-depth video later on when I actually take some apart again, but otherwise that's pretty much good to go. And we'll uh, see you the next time. Remember, like, click, subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next uh, tip video from Flatland Jeeper.